um, the video is actually sponsored by, or the, the series was sponsored by um, USAA. Um, so we're nice. well, on our end, we're going to try to definitely leverage that yeah, <laughs> and hopefully the moving yeah, forward this yeah, year. For sure. Because we didn't, I mean, we didn't get anything out of it. Too. You know, like we, oh, okay, yeah. um, we we got the video and that was it. Yeah. So, well, yeah, we'll see another, where it goes. Another notch on the belt for uh, like a resume thing, right? Yeah, I mean, we have we have tons of content and um, like, yeah, we're we're hoping that you know who, who knows what will come this year, and we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing and and hopefully see where how much traction we can get and. Um, we work with with a uh, boot barn. I don't oh, know if you're familiar yeah. with that. Like, yeah, 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 the, yeah, like a country western clothing it's a store. Super expensive. <laughs> country western clothing store. We did a a local, uh, a small local news segment. I think it was Channel Eight, and um, it was right before our adventure that we did at the. Uh, it, was, it was the one right before you know, when you you came on with us. We did it out at a. Uh, uh, like a ranch, like a Western ranch out in Bonzel. Oh yeah. Yeah. My buddy told me about that. Yeah. One. So that was the first one Dylan yeah, okay. came to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we had one of our mentors and his mentee who lives in Modesto. So they came down early for the weekend and, um, they did the new segment at boot barn. And so they got like matching up like outfits, yeah. like cowboy hats and their plaid shirts and their belt buckles. It was super cute. But, um, they, the boot barn headquarters ended up seeing it. And I think they're, they're up in, in Irvine. So they're, okay. they're somewhat Pretty local. Yeah. Uh, so they ended up seeing it and they reached out to us and wanted to feature us in, in their, their uh, June catalog. And so we did like a really fun spread and got some vets and kids together and did a little video shoot. They made like commercials that, that were showing in movie theaters. Like nice. no, before movie, like, movies, they show commercials and stuff. Okay. I'm sitting at home and like my buddy texts me. He's like, dude, I just saw you. I'm at the movies right now. And you just popped up on the screen and Boot bar, come yeah, on. so it was pretty neat. And so they, they, you know, we, got to um you know have our story shared with their their network and audience and so we're hoping to do more things like that to get some more exposure coming up this year that's awesome that's big um so before i take any more of your time since we've been here for a while uh coming up to the end of the podcast i just got a couple more questions um what advice would you give to someone wanting to pursue similar path um either nonprofit or, you know, going to buds or whatever the case is. Yeah. You just got to stay dedicated. Yeah. It's, it's a, I mean, know that it's going to be a lot of hard work and, um, wh- whatever the path is, um, you just got to stay passionate about it. And I think that's where a lot of people kind of lose faith is things sound like a great idea at first, but once you realize what goes into making it come to life, um, you know, again, like we've been doing this now for four years and we're still just as passionate about it just because, I mean, for us, we get to, we've gotten all, all of the, our best friends in, in our lives right now are because yeah. of that. Yeah. And like all the people we know and, and hang out with and get to see is because of the community we've been able to create with a nonprofit. And so that keeps us going. So, um, yeah, it might sound like cliche, but I mean, you just got to stick to your why and, and realize why you're doing it. Um, but surround yourself with people that are going to be there to lift you up. You know what I mean? Um, everyone's going to have hard times going through it and just realize that, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult and you just got to keep pushing forward. And as long as you have that support system, you know, you're, you're good. So. Which, which actually leads me to my next question before I, before I say that, um, that it's like that old saying, um, find something that you love and never work a day in your life kind of thing. I mean, obviously you're working hard. For yeah. That, but yeah. Uh, which leads me to my next question. Um, what were some of the misconceptions or pushbacks, if any, that um, when you were spitballing this idea um, that people, like I said, if any, came up to you and were like, oh, I don't think it's going to catch or, you know, you know, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. For us, or for, or for at least me personally, um, it was articulating it properly because in my head, you know, we had the idea in our head and in, in our head, it looked great. It was mm-hmm. super organized. It was <laughs> right, going to be, right, be right. perfect. Um, so when we, before we really had the idea on, on paper and, in, in you know, in stone, there was tons of people that were like, you know, would tell them the concept of what we were looking to do. And they're like, oh, okay. 
um, so like, you're going to be doing this. And I'm like, no, you weren't listening. Like, we're gonna be <laughs> so it was really just kind of articulating what it looked like. And, uh, not to this, not to say that we had like people that doubted us, but we just had people that were like, weren't really sure what we they were doing. They couldn't see the vision. Yeah. And, and, um, I think that's normal. I think, uh, you know, the visions, like I said, it's always going to be in your head and it's always going to be very clear to you. Um, it's clear now, you know, like we're, I think mean, there's really no doubt on what you we do now. Life. And, yeah. um, but it's also hard to kind of say no to doing something that's, you know, going to be for the veteran community and gold star family community. So we've actually like kind of set ourselves up in a pretty good position. Um, as far as, you know, our, what our mission is, is we are able to, you know, it's like, Oh, well, do you just support the veteran community? Oh, you know, if this isn't your thing. Okay. What about kids? Yeah. <laughs> I guess kids are your thing. Oh no. What about, you know, widows, appeal. you know, like yeah. what is it? Yeah. Like we kind of appeal to a larger demographic just because of what we do. Um, or if it's even outdoors, like we have, mm-hmm. uh, we've had some supporters that just, um, they're like outdoor enthusiasts and it's like, okay, well they might not have a passion for who we're serving, but what we're doing. Um, so yeah, mm-hmm. find, find something that just find something that you can be creative with and make your own. And I think that's the biggest thing is there's a lot of, uh, you know, copycat companies out there or people mm-hmm. that kind of, you know, I guess cookie cutter, if you want to call it that, but you know, just make it unique and make it, make it yours so that there's really no question yeah. behind it. Beyond, uh, was it beyond reproach? Yeah. Nice. Um, if you could turn back time. And, or if you could jump in a time machine and travel to 15 year old you, 18 year old you, what advice would you give him? To be honest, I don't know. I, I, it's strange because I think about that a lot. I do it all the time. <laughs> I think about I that a lot. About, Man, man if with if the I knowledge this, I have yeah. now. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, invest in Google. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, you know, that was that the whole butterfly effect. Like you change one thing and like I love where I am right now. Yeah. I'm extremely happy with life and where I've come. I've gone through a lot of challenges. I've I've gone through a lot of hardship. Um and it makes it who you are. Things I would have I would change, but then at the same time, yeah, I I wouldn't be who I am today or where I am today and you know, that's more important to me. So uh, it's always it's always fun to think you know, think about where your life could be now if yeah. you could do that. But uh, you never know. You might not be happier. You know, That's true. you could have more problems. Very yeah. true. Something to keep in mind. Yeah. So just, I would say, don't look behind you. You know, appreciate appreciate where you where you've come from and the experiences you've gone through. But you know, the future is the future for a reason. You know, you have the ability to make it what you want. Now, you can't do anything about the past. You yeah. know, there's no reason to to sweat over it. Um, and that's natural. We all do it. Um, but there's just no reason to to lose sleep over it. So um, I guess that would be my advice is to don't look back, have a stick to your guns yeah. and uh, you know, just uh, appreciate what you've done and uh, definitely take value in hardships. Um, Cause that's, that's where you grow. You grow the most, um, you know, when you're in the Valley. So the only place to go is to the top of the mountain. So yeah. I would say just look forward and, uh, <laughs> And take the never quit approach. <laughs> yeah, solid advice coming from a uh, seal here. <laughs> um, is there anything you wanted to promote or cover that we didn't really touch on? Um, no, I mean, I would just like to invite people to share our journey. You know, we're, uh, you can check out our website. It's uh, activevalor.com. And uh, on there, we have tons of videos. You can see all our post recap videos of all the adventures and, um, and I guess just following us on social media, we're really heavy on Instagram and it's just at active valor and, um, and Facebook as well. Those are really the only two platforms that we're on, but it's just a great way to follow along with what we're doing. You know, it's, we, we try to you know share every day of whether it's photos or videos, um, new things we have coming up. Um, like we're, I'm leaving here to go film right after this to go do some, um, we have a, like a, a fitness challenge we're promoting for, uh, March. Okay. So I'm um, doing some filming for that. And now uh, we're teaming up with a couple of different companies. Um, Rockwell watches is doing a line of watches for us for the, uh, for the challenge. And um, yeah, it's going to be a good time, but we're just trying to keep things different this year for us. 
And um, again, like just try to adapt with the times and, you know, things aren't going to be getting better anytime soon. I don't believe, yeah. um, but they're not to say they're going to be worse, but they're going to be different. So mm-hmm. um, just be, you know, just trying to stay ready and, and ahead of, ahead of that, uh, whatever's coming. So yeah, I mean, we'd love to share our journey with everybody and for anybody who's local, um, you know, if there are any veterans looking to be a part of something amazing and we're always looking for good people and um yeah that's really it cool well i always say um obviously this is a positive podcast talking about positive things but we can't ignore the negative that's out in the world Mm -hmm. um so i like to finish my my podcast with asking a question um what's one thing one problem in the world that you see big or small no matter you know how big or small and what's the solution you think could go towards solving said problem? Uh, the biggest thing we have right now is a division. That's that's easy. Um, our country is so divided right now, and it, in my opinion, it doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on. Like at the end of the day, like we're all Americans, mm-hmm. and honestly, one of the biggest downfalls of our society is social media. You know, because yeah. it one, it gave everybody a voice, which can be a good thing. But on the downside is it gave everybody a voice. <laughs> yeah. And we're in the generation now where people, you know, say things behind a screen that they would never say to somebody's face. And it's just it's emboldened a lot of people. But um, having too many opinions, <laughs> it's yeah. and it, having an opinion is great. But uh, I see all these arguments going on online and social there's no media. And there's no discussion at all. It's their arguments. And it's. There's no discuss. There's no talking and and just sitting down. And again, we're we're all in the same mess together. Like, um, you know, we're not in the same boat. We're in the same storm. You know, that's what I heard that the other day. And like, that makes a lot of sense. You yeah. know, that we we might be going through, uh, you know, on different vessels on this journey. But um, we're all as Americans going to be suffering through, you know, the same issues. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. My biggest, I mean, it's going to, it's a hard solution. You know, it takes people sitting down and, and putting everything aside and just being people together. It's easy when you do it, you know? Um, I mean, you know, me and, and, and Jamie and we're pretty easy going people. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I tend not to indulge in any of that nonsense going on, but yeah, it's just realizing that we're all here together and we can make things a whole lot better by just being united with one another you know you don't even need to talk about what's going on no. you know you don't have to solve Find all the world's common, problems yeah Find something in common yeah and, and just harp on that yeah all right well on that note i appreciate it perry e folks thank you for uh having me on it's been a long time coming i appreciate it thank you again and right. thank you for uh, everybody listening yeah later now that's the show folks I truly hope Perry's story and accomplishments have inspired you to go out and take charge of something bigger than yourself, or at least try to put yourself out there and be a part of something bigger. The families that Perry and the veterans that have helped make these events happen have been impacted in such a positive way on so many levels. It really makes me feel good knowing that there really are people out there who are willing to step up and to show that some families don't really have to go through a devastating process alone, especially the process of losing a loved one. There are people out there and organizations that that are dedicated to creating a sense of community and peace and even just for a moment, you know, to to breathe and help them take the load off. So uh, big shout out to all the veterans who step up and help partake in these events and a huge shout out to Perry for making all this happen and being on the show to share all of what he's done with you lovely listeners. Uh, That's about all the time we have for today's show. Now, if there's anything you as a listener would like to add. Or would like for me to add to the show to make it a more joyful experience. I'm more than willing to hearing. I'm more than willing to hear your suggestions, and who knows, I might even make it a part of the show. Uh, you can find me if you'd like, or reach me at Facebook or Instagram at Limelight Highlight. You can tweet me at ll underscore highlight, or send me an email at limelighthighlight at gmail Even if you don't have anything to add and just want to let me know how you like the show or how I'm doing. Or if you, even if you've been inspired to, to be a part of something positive and you wanted to share, reach out and do so. Check out the show notes for the links where you can find Active Valor and to stay up to date on all the future and past events that they've put on. 
And while you're there, be sure to subscribe, follow the pages, and leave a rating and a review so we can climb those charts and inspire some more potential listeners with more positive information. Until then.